Good day to all. Welcome to Technology and Livelihood Education Grade 7, Quarter 1, Week 6. Our topic is how to calculate markup percentage. I am your teacher in TLE, Sir Marvin Mangali. At the end of this module, you must be able to 1. Discuss principles of costing. 2. Compute cost of production, and 3. Understand the importance of cost production. Let us explore your vocabulary. Markup, is the difference between how much an item costs you, and how much you sell that item for. Selling price, is the price at which a product or service is sold to the buyer. Purchase cost, the price at which something is actually purchased. Markup percentage, measures the percent adds to its cost to set the retail price. What's new, riddles? Read and answer each riddle carefully. 1. How many times can you subtract the number 5 from 25? 2. What two whole, positive numbers that have a one-digit answer when multiplied and a two-digit answer when added? 3. What two whole, positive numbers have the same answer when multiplied together as when added together? 4. What three whole, positive numbers have the same answer when multiplied together as when added together? 5. What two whole, positive numbers have the same answer when multiplied together as when one is divided by the other? Write your answer on separate answer sheet, you can pause this video for a while. Let us now proceed with our discussion, our topic is how to calculate markup. Percentage Markup is the difference between how much an item costs you, and how much you sell that item for it's your profit per item. Any person working in business or retail will find the skill of being able to calculate markup percentage very valuable. Instructions on how to calculate markup percentage. Step number one. Instructions on how to calculate markup percentage. Step number one. Calculate your peso markup. This is done by subtracting your buying price from your selling price. Check the sample below. Example. Selling price is 15.00. Purchase cost slash buying price is 10.00. The peso markup is 5.00.
Step number 2. Decide whether you want to calculate your percentage markup based on cost or selling price. Once you choose which you will be using to calculate, it is important you stick to the method you choose throughout all your calculations, or you will end up with faulty data. If you decide to calculate your percent markup based on cost, go on to step 3. If you decide to calculate your percent markup based on selling price, go on to step 4. Step number 3. Calculate percent markup based on cost. This is done by dividing the peso markup by the cost. Example. 5.00. Divided by 10.00. The percentage markup is 0.5 or 50%. Step number 4. Calculate your percent markup based on selling price. This is done by dividing the peso markup by the selling price. 5.00 divided by 15.00. The percentage markup is 0.33 or 33%. Step number 5. Make sure you consistently use either cost of the product or selling price to find the percent markup on an item. Even though the cost, selling price, and peso markup will always be the same, the percentage markup will be drastically different depending on if you calculate it using selling price or cost. Using selling price will give you a lower percentage markup, assuming you are making a profit, while using cost will give you a higher percentage markup. Let us, let us proceed on how to cost a recipe. Whether you are starting a food service business or creating a family budget, it is important to know how much a meal costs. But with so many ingredients in a recipe, it can be difficult to determine the true cost of a recipe per serving. This will tell you how to determine the cost per serving of a recipe in 7 easy steps. We are calculating manually. Here are the steps. 1. Create an ingredients list with the quantity required for each. If you have an online version of a recipe, or if you created the recipe yourself in the kitchen, write out the ingredients list. Next to each ingredient include how much is required. See the sample below. Step number 2. Write down the price of any full units of ingredients that you are using. For ingredients that you are using the full amount that you purchased for the recipe, then Step number 3. Convert the measurement units to those that are used by the recipe. If the recipe uses a different unit of measurement than that stated on the packaging, then you must convert the
Step number 4. Divide the required amount by the full unit amount for partial ingredients. Most of your ingredients on your list will only be one part of the full unit that you purchased. Step number 5. Multiply the proportion of partial ingredients by the full purchase. Cost. Use the numbers that you just calculated for each partial ingredient to work. Step number 6. Add all of the calculated prices for the ingredients together. You can do the calculation in your head if you just have a few ingredients, or otherwise you can use a cal- Step number 7. Divide the total recipe cost by the number of servings. This will give you the recipe cost per serving. For example, if your calculations show that To sum it up, here are the steps. 1. Create an ingredients list with the quantity required for each. 2. Write down the price of any full unit. How was it? Did you learn something from the information presented to you? I hope that you really gained new learning. To continue your journey, the next part of the module will assess how well you have understood the discussions. Good luck! on what I can do part. Given the following recipe and its estimated cost, compute for the total purchase cost and impose a 50% markup to determine the selling price of your product. Yield equals 24 servings. Use another sheet of paper for your solutions and attach it here. Write you answer on a separate answer sheet. Pause for a while to be able to answer this part. On what I have learned part. Directions, create your own recipe. 
Do the costing of your recipe by following the given steps. Create an ingredients list with the quantity required for each. 2. Write down the price of any full units of ingredients that you are using. 3. Convert the measurement units to those that are used by the recipe. 4. Divide the required amount by the full unit amount for partial ingredients. 5. Multiply the proportion of partial ingredients by the full purchase cost. 6. Add all the calculated prices for the ingredients together. 7. Divide the total recipe cost by the number of servings. Thank you for listening class. Once again this is teacher Marvin Mangali, always remember that you are a blessing. What's next, on week 4 we will discuss appropriate wet drawing media to represent object, see again next lesson god.